Okay, we're going to continue the work of angles now and we're going to talk about parallel lines and angles. So, what it means is if two lines are parallel, that the, e that the distance between them is equal, the same at all points. And what you do to show that two lines are parallel is you put arrows. And as if the two if two lines have one arrow then they're parallel. Or sometimes if two lines have two arrows they're parallel. So when I put these arrows here, that means lines are parallel. Right. So first rules correspond in angles. So I have two parallel lines here. I have two angles A and B. And for this particular case, A equals B. So if the corresponding angles, A equals B. And you look out for, look for C shape. Because if you notice, if you go around there, that's like a square type C. Next type is called alternate angles. I've got an angle B and an angle A. And again, A equals B. And this time, it's like a Z shape. Because look, if we go around here like that, that's like a Z shape. So this time we'll look for Z shape. Okay, next type of angles is called interior angles. We've got two angles here, A and B, and basically A plus B is 180 degrees, okay? So let's look at some examples now. So I've got an angle here that's 70 degrees, I want to find A, B and C. Now that's a straight line, we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 from the last one, so A is 110. B, we can use for, we can use for interior angles rule here, which says that this angle plus this angle is 180. So we know that the two angles together add up to 180 and we want this is 110. So for this one here, B must be 70. And then, there's two ways we could do this. We could use for alternate angles here. With that shape and say that's 110. Or, or we could use this line here and say that these two angles add up to 180. Which would mean this one here is 110. And in case you can't see that. Is 110, B is 70, and C is 110. Right, next example now is here. Now look, we've got three lines that are all parallel here, and we want to find these angles. Now this is a circle, we can add these angles up 60 plus 120 plus 60, that comes to 60 plus. 140 degrees. Now, if we take that away from 160, so I'm doing 360 minus 240, that comes to 120. So, this angle here is 120 degrees. So, I'm just going to write them down here so that there's a bit more room and it's easier to read. So A here is 120. And then use my interior angles rule here again. This one, this B is 60. C, we can use the normal line rule. This is a straight line. So C is 120. D is again 60. E again is 120. And F is also 60. So I've just used my normal rules here, either these three rules or the rules we've learned about in earlier videos. So what you do really is you just apply these different rules 
these ones and the ones we learned in the last videos to find different angles here. Okay, so that's all I've done. I've used these rules. Now, it's best to be aware that these could be rotated in examples. So this corresponding angles one might be seen like this in some problems. But this same rule here still applies. It's just that the lines have been rotated. You know if the parallel, because I've got an arrow on each line to say that the parallel, okay? 